Hey everybody, welcome back! Between episodes, we were talking about spooky graphics cards! Alright, so what is with this place? You know what this looks like? The the way they're uh, like above ground tombs reminds me of Resident Evil 6. I was thinking Dead Island for some reason, and I can't remember why. Was there a place like this in Dead Island? I feel like there was, but maybe I'm just not remembering it right. Okay, so we can talk to this guy. Is this gonna be our gravekeeper? Lewis? He's uh um, He's pretty tall. He's got big he feet. Ooh. He is really tall. Do we know how tall York is? Uh maybe like 5'10. He seems like a fairly tall guy. I'm gonna say six <laughs> five foot. foot twelve. It's when you're standing next to this gi this fucking giant, it's impossible to tell, but like, well, how how tall do you think she is? Because she's a kid. What is she, 14? Uh, roughly, yeah. She's up to like the crook of our elbow. Huh. So low four foots, I guess. Probably? God, I don't know. This guy's fucking huge. Oh, are we going to get a cutscene? moving his head like a bird. Excuse yeah. me, but what are you doing? Searching. What? The okay, I wasn't expecting that. What are you searching for? Unknown. You don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Zach, this man is the perfect symbol of the human race. We all live out our lives searching for things, yet no one knows what they're actually searching for. That's what it means to be human. Don't you agree, Zach? I feel like that simple declaration of his just awakened us to something. You've had... You've spoken two sentences with this man and then and he vanished! He's gone. That was weird. Okay. Okay, well, investigating is at least legitimately finding us new characters. We're getting something out of this. Okay, we now officially know another guy who's tall enough to possibly be involved. Did he just move over here? I see a blue dot on the map. What is he searching for? Be... Beep, 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 beep. Uh, He's a robot. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <sighs> Taking orders. Fleur de Lee. Uh, okay. Saint Rouge. Yeah. Go collect the Fleur de Lis in my stead. Is this gonna be a side quest? Oh! Photographic list of Fleur de Lis. Oh, is this like. Am I gonna go around taking pictures of every Fleur de Lee in town? Hmm. That's interesting. Dull pictures of the town. Each spot in each picture contains a Fleur de Lee, but they can only be found by one with a special power, so our sight. Mm -hmm. Our our special sight, not our eyeballs sight. <laughs> Something. Okay, is this a collection side quest? Seems like it. Hmm. Okay, this is what I like. I like finding the side quests. Genesis album. See? It's paying off already. Investigating is getting us quests. Oh, would you look at that? That looks like a down on a C button. What the hell button on my controller is that? 
That's down on your D-pad. My D-pad? Okay. God, it doesn't look like a D-pad. Um, on the Joy-Con, it, uh, it is that arrow with oh, a circle. Oh, right. I'm using a Pro Controller. Okay. Okay, so I have to use the... If you arrive at uh, one with the album open, exclamation part, uh, point will appear over your head. So it has to be open. Use the vision to collect it. You can check your current collection in the red room, which is the pause menu or inventory, I guess. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we found this early. Okay, before we go doing anything. Album. How many fleur de -lis? Okay. If a photo has a clear on it, you found that one. Get ready to become a completionist. There's 20. At least an That's album the hotel. one. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Sheriff. Uh, cold storage. Yeah. Bridge. The bridge. I think it's the bridge she died. Oh, this is the bridge she died at. This is the murder scene. Yep. Or at least where the body was found originally. Uh, may have to go looking for that one. Maybe that's behind the... Um... Cold storage? No, what's the voodoo shop? Maybe. It's some kind of storage know. container. This is a, a park. I think that's a park we've been to. That's the one with the molehill. There's the, mm, the voodoo yeah. shop. Town hall, I guess. The White House. The church. Uh, my first failed building I tried to make in The Sims. The graveyard. Oh, good. So that's actually really close by. Oh, that's the that's the the platform in the tower. It's like a water tower, maybe. At the yeah, swamp? In the swamp. There's the water tower. Oh, that's the water tower. Yeah, and then that's a restaurant, a bar I think. Or a restaurant. That's another, another bridge. bridge. I don't uh, know. Uh, haven't been there yet. Let's keep an eye out for that graffiti on the ground, though. Mm -hmm. A barn. The oh the gate to t or the the welcoming like monument to town. Mm -hmm. A different swamp. Yeah, some kind of swampy pond, maybe out by the Gator Place. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. Journal is I'm sorry. Journal is quests. Okay. The elusive water valve. Inspect the water valve and cast a pineapple in order to fix the shower problem. Here's something from Concierge. From 14 to 17, Monday to Friday. Okay. Find all the fleur-de-lis. Talk to the mirror to create a voodoo charm. Yeah, we haven't gotten around to that yet, have we? Okay. Okay, I do want to fix that shower head thing. So, how do I... Whoa, game... Was that on your end, or was that the game noise? That was the game noise. I didn't do anything. Oh my god, what the hell was that? It sounded like something dropped. Okay, um, right. I'm just looking through the inventory. We got lots of foods and stuff. Um, antidotes, cold be gone. So how do we... You said there would be an exclamation point if you have the... Um... Yeah, if you push down while you're out and about. There you go. Ah. Uh... Oh, I like that. That's fun. Okay. This that one. one. So, oh, can I not have it open on the board? Okay. Looking for a curb. Yeah, it's I mean, you're right next to the uh, the park as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we can get that too. Oh, so it remembers my spot too. That's nice. Okay. Just in you case. You probably want to go to the, each corner of the of the graveyard to to get that fleur de lis. Yeah, I think so. If, if I just circle the graveyard, I should find it just fine. Yeah. I can't quite tell. Is it on the inside of the fence or the outside? It's on the outside. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's on the outside. I'm just worried I'm going to like pass it if I'm on the skateboard, you know? Just because I won't get the exclamation point. Mm-hmm. Because it'll only be visible with the special ability, right? At least I think that's how that works. Okay, I may as well just sk skateboard straight to the next corner. Uh, this one's probably not it, because there aren't very many, uh... Yeah... Oh, did I just hear a car? <laughs> yep, there it went. Oh! 
Is that the first time we've seen a car actually driving? I think so, yeah. Um, there's like two sections of this graveyard. I'm gonna try these sections too. What's over there? It's like enemies, squirrels, okay. This is seemingly like, part of the graveyard. Yeah, it's looking more like uh, an extension that isn't quite built yet. Mm, yeah. So we know our, there's a lot of trees near the corner trees, as well. But also a bunch of those graves. Yeah. Oh, God. But I don't. Hello. So this part of the graveyard probably isn't. Uh, yeah. Probably is. not this corner. Okay, well, there aren't many corners left. Surely we will find this quickly. Maybe it's the one uh, at the opposite end of the street. Not this particular corner here, but the one you're coming up on. Yeah, I, I, I think it could actually be this one right here. Oh! Yep. Okay. Oh, there it, there is. it is. Yeah! Oh, I feel like that should have had a sound effect. Okay, um... Which one looked like a park? Uh, keep going. Keep going. Oh. That one. Okay, yeah, that definitely looks like a park. I'm not 100% sure. Might be the one sure we just on... visited to the, yeah, just right there where your waypoint park. is. Park, yeah. Well, let's hope. Um, Because that'd be really convenient. If not, it could be the other one we went to that we remarked didn't look much like one. Yeah. Okay, so do you think we should only be handing these in every, um, do you think we should only be handing these things in to them every 20 or every filled album? Or do you think we get something for coming back to them early? I think getting a full album would probably be better. I think you're probably right. Oh, let's check that dumpster real quick. Low quality cloth. It was so worth it. It's hard for me to tell on my end, but is there like a hill in the picture? Because this park has a hill. Let me uh, let me double check that. I don't really know. Um, it could be beyond the trees. It's hard to say from that angle. Yeah. You know, I get that picture back up again. Did the the yeah, you need match? to be outside of the park in order to uh, to get this. Yeah, I think you're you right. I think it's actually on like a. Yeah, I think it's actually on like an intersection. Mm -hmm. Ah. What? I gotta get some voodoo shit that makes the maneuvering on this better. It's it very could be this corner. It does look like the right fence, and the trees look right. Mm -hmm. The fencing may be uh, pretty universal across Lakare, though. Could be. Uh, walk backwards a little bit. This way? Not, not. Sorry, uh, behind York. This way? Yes. Uh, keep going. Look back at the park real quick. Oh. So, like, if you cross the street to York's left a little bit, this is basically the the angle we'd want to be looking at to. Yeah. Match Do you think maybe it's not even at a corner? It could be just part way along the fence. No, because you can see uh, at the right hand corner of the picture that it looks like the street is cutting off to the right. There are also skid marks oh. on the ground. Like. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So maybe we got to look out for a street that has skid marks in the at the intersection. Yeah, that might be a good that might be a good sign. Okay, and then we're back to this dumpster. Hmm. Maybe it's not this park. Yeah, maybe it's Oh, well, we don't have to get park. it immediately. We can always come back to a different park and if we notice notice yeah, That's this looks true. familiar. That's true. Um, Did you also want to go check out Erzuli Freida to uh, try crafting something? Yeah, I think we should. Uh, let's go hit up the sheriff's department just because we know we can get a quick picture there. Or a quick flirtily. And it's not too far out of the way. And then we'll hang back to the voodoo shop. We'll get that flirtily. 
you know, the easy ones. The ones that are really obvious. Oh, you know mm. what? The, this church one's right here. We'll grab it on our way. Oh, uh, we can also test to see if it'll ping if you had the skateboard up and going. Oh, or, right. sorry, if you had um, the skateboard going or anything. I, I don't know. Forget it. Uh, where is the church one? That one. Uh, no, sorry. This one. one. 11. Oh, okay. So that's pinging. What if I'm on a skateboard, though? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's right by the steps. Or at least it looked like it was. Uh, does the album have Look to down. be open? Um, It'd be right next to the steps. It'd be like here, right? Uh, Maybe go until uh, York has the exclamation point above his head again. Like walk around until he gets that. So walk backwards. Yeah. Maybe I got to like get my perspective. Oh, you got to get the same perspective of the picture. Yeah, yeah. Or else there you don't is. see it. Okay. Okay, I gotcha. So we got to line up. Ooh, that's hard. We got to like line up the camera and stuff too. Okay, who's this? Uh, Probably the... Yeah, it's Tyrone. He's dressed up like a doctor this time though. How pitiful. Okay. The law so he must also be the town uh, surgeon then. Well, at least we know. We're learning things about the characters. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Let's hit up the sheriff department, get our easy picture. And then, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> you know, I bet if you hit the curb hard enough, you could jump some of these shorter fences. So we know it's not this little park. The fence doesn't look right. Ah! <laughs> oh, really can't wait to get some charms going. Maybe they'll make maneuvering town easier. Okay, it was at the front door, right? Yeah. I think it's a bit further, like closer to the fast travel tire. I think you're right. Um, this hotel. There it is. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, so we want to be by this ramp. Okay, here we go. Oh, there it is. Yay! Uh, I gotta say, it feels pretty rewarding getting these. I like this one. Mm -hmm. This is a collection mini game. Uh, you know, a lot of modern games have like, you know, collect-a-thon elements. You know, Assassin's Creed has a lot of that. I never find them really compelling in those games, but um, I do like a good collect-a-thon. You know, I, I like Banjo-Kazooie, where it feels kind of meaningful, you know? Where it's not just all over the place. Um, Breath of the Wild kind of has the same thing too, because um, if you take pictures in Breath of the Wild of uh, creatures, of items, of monsters, uh, they get added to your uh, compendium, basically, and you can just um, search for them whenever you have registered them in your compendium. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, did you catch if any of those pictures in the album were of the, um, what's it called? Diner and Lane? I did not notice, no. Because it just feels like the kind of place they'd have it, you know? Album one's probably the easy pictures. Okay, I just want to... This one's, this one's simple. There it is. There it is. Yeah. I wonder if he sees this too. He's like, oh, that was weird. So which one of these is, there we that's go. Everywhere. And that's just down this street, right? It is, yeah. Yes. Okay, just erase the waypoint. I know the way. It's right there. <laughs> ah, she vanished. I love how we dragged her along for this whole day and we're not even talking. Also, keep note that you have uh, only two, I think, usable bars of vision right now. Oh, yeah, I am using it pretty liberally, aren't I? Mm -hmm. So after this next one, might need to take a break from uh, searching. Oh, okay. I'm excited. We have a lot of cool things. We've got dog skulls, you know? Oh, right, I got a... Oh, crap. Oh, right, I no. forgot I have to have this open. Oh, we almost have another one charged up. 
Do you have Isn't another it? item that could uh, charge it up? Maybe? We're not very hungry or sleepy. We've been good about that. Um, drowsiness Worst and constant. Oh, do you think? Oh, concentration does help us in yeah, the top like left there. Your... Yeah. 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 Let's have a black coffee. There we go. I don't want to be too um, stringent with my or stingy with my item use. You know, I get the feeling that I don't need to be too too careful with it. They're not that expensive. Mm -hmm. If anything, I could see myself being a hoarder. I'm often like that with with usable restorative items in video games like Pokemon. Um, I find myself often not using potions outside of battle when I know I can just go get it for free at the Poke Center. And then by the end of the game, I have all these like out of date potions I would never have any use for because of it. So I should probably be more careful about, you know, just use an item if I need an item, you know? Mm -hmm. Unless it's something super easy, like I'm going to sleep at the hotel anyway and there's a buffet there. Then that's an obvious, you know, that's even an opportunity for a cutscene sometimes. Okay. Mihalama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charms. Really? Create. Okay. So we can make this range one, gun range. So there's necklaces and there's dolls. Are necklaces just for guns? Yeah, these all say gun capability, eh? Does it change near the bottom to anything else? Armor piercing. Wow. Freeze bullets. Need pigeon feathers for that. That's kind of cool. Just reading some of these things makes me think a little bit of Resident Evil Revelations 2. The raid mode in that game is really fun. It's uh, it's just a really Japanese arcadey side mode to be in a Resident Evil game where it's like you and your friends play through levels with like numbers bouncing off heads when you shoot dudes and you have like RPG leveling up mechanics for your guns and your abilities and you can throw like you can basically cast magic like you can materialize bottles like Molotovs, but they're of different elements. It's crazy. You wouldn't think that'd be in a Resident Evil game, but it's really fun. Uh, so dolls are physical capabilities. Life, concentration. These seem cool. I wonder how many necklaces I can use. Or how many dolls I can use at a time. Paralysis and poison. I guess resistance to those? Would you look at this thing? The thief doll. Mm-hmm. Huh. Giant. Concentration, life, stamina. That seems like a good all-rounder. Alligator tails, sugar root. Sugar cane root. I could probably get all those at the swamp. Hmm. Priest. Hygiene increase. That's interesting. Mm. <laughs> Plus three to BO. <laughs> what does that mean? Do we actually smell sure. worse? Look at the next one. Plus three beard. to beard. Oh, I can't make it. I need oak leaves. Fop doll. Intoxication. This is fascinating. Okay, what can we make? We can make an awakened doll, intoxication, drowsiness, and concentration. I don't know if that means that we're always perma-drunk or we're resistant to alcohol. I think resistant. I would imagine. Because it boosts your abilities. Yeah, I mean, we're allowed to do this, but it increases BO. No, resistance to BO. Uh, but but then what is is the other one resistance to hygiene? No, it means you get better hygiene. It's unclear. You know what it reminds me of? You remember how Payday 2 was on launch where everything was vague bars without numbers and no one knew if up or down was good for half of them? What the yeah. fuck did mobility mean? Do you remember that? Oh, God. Not I, really. I, I actually had a thread recently with Sir Crackerbulb, who also used to be a Payday 2 YouTuber back in the day. And we just had this big reminiscing rant between, like, me, him, and a few other people on Twitter. Just being like, oh my god, do you remember when Payday 2 had this weird thing? Like, do you remember in the early days when you would stealth in full combined tactical armor because stealth was so broken? Oh, those are weird days. Okay, uh... Like, why would they give you so much to buff on Awakened Doll, but also... Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, concentration plus two is a positive thing, but drowsiness and intoxication is a negative thing. 
maybe this is where there's trade-offs. We get a really strong buff, but we're also getting strong debuffs with it. And we just have to pick if that's worth it to us. In which case, that's a new level of... Uh... <laughs> Why can't I make nine of these? Like, okay. Uh, so we need it's Oakleaf. showing you the necessary materials. Like, if you go up to nine, you can also see it increases the n number of materials you need. So I don't have any reason to believe that a beard is a bad thing. In fact, in real life, I think a beard is quite a good thing. So I'm actually, I'd quite like to make this at some point. Life and stamina are obviously good. Um, doesn't seem that hard to make. Uh, a priest doll actually seems pretty good as well. But we can't make one yet. What can we make right now? Do you want to try the one that gives plus two to two things and plus three to the other thing? It's like intoxication, concentration, and drowsiness. I kind of want to try it, yeah. I also want to try an acrobat doll. Two to stamina seems like it'd just globally be useful to us. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna make that. Or buy that, can, create it, whatever. Yeah, you can uh, run fat, or run more now. And what was the other one we wanted? This um, one, Awakened Doll. Oh, we need more low-quality cloth for that now. Okay, that's that's okay. We find that all over the place. What can we do for necklaces, then? We're already at the bottom. Uh, I saw something that you could make a little bit lower. So we use beads for this rather than cloth. Gotcha. Okay, so range. Can't get power. That's a shame. Firing speed we could do. Reload speed seems useful. Chamber size, accuracy. I think we should go for accuracy more than anything. Because did you see that huge, like, dead zone? Yeah. Now, Berserk is tempting to me. Now, in survival horror games, I know this isn't as survival horror as some, I always tend to lean towards guns that are the most damage per shot for a reasonably abundant um, ammo type so that I'm getting the most out of every bullet because ammo might be limited. If so, shooting slower but doing way more damage per bullet would conserve a lot of ammo. So that's tempting. Range for accuracy. I I feel like our accuracy would get so bad it wouldn't be worth it. Unless we had something to offset that. So there's a lot of trade-off ones here. Interesting that it lists these as negative three on something. Rather than on the dolls where it's like plus BO or plus hygiene rather than plus or minus hygiene. Yeah, again, we don't know if the uh, plus for the doll yeah. means that it's increasing bad things or if it's just increasing resistance to those bad things. I don't think we can. We have the stuff to make anything that gives us accuracy. Hmm. Concerning. Okay, uh, I can afford the Berserk necklace, though, and that seems pretty solid. Um, I don't mind lower firing speed. I was actually shooting pretty fast. The damage, though, I'd love. Okay, and we can equip him right Where's here, the I thing think. I just bought? All awaits thee at the altar. Okay. Altars exist, whether thy needs exist. The bedchamber of thy hostelry doth possess one therewith. So where's my thing? <laughs> All altars lead to the other realm. Thusly, all periapts in thy possession may be confirmed at any altar. Good to know. The other realm? Forsooth, any mirror may metamorphose into an entrance to the other realm. Prithee, say thou doth grasp this wisdom. You can see the same world as the skeletal gentleman? Ooh. I am the mirror, as my name doth suggest. I am the looking glass given flesh. Zack, it appears that there's still a lot about this world that we don't understand. This is the deep south. There's <laughs> no telling what might happen next. And as we all know, in the deep south, magic is real. Mm-hmm. Can confirm. Altar has been unlocked. Okay. Now we can go to the hotel and hang out at the altar. Alternatively, Ooh. there's an altar right to your left. <gasps> yeah. 
You can also expand the uh, maximum custom slots on your gun. Money and materials to expand the altar. Yeah, you're back to page one here. Okay. Uh, normal shells, right? We can get different shell types. Oh, sorry. This controls a little strangely. Okay, body boost. So you can equip two charms at once. Okay, well, we got the stamina one. Okay, and then for gun boost, uh, we've got Berserk Necklace. There we go. And looks like you can have a lot like. of upgrades. Oh my god, yeah. God damn. Okay. A strange feeling. That's my other It looks like there are spots to place other items as well. You know, we've had many, many comments now saying that because of the, the, the that's my other name, Gag being way more widely exposed through our new Pokemon playthroughs that there have been people who have told me in the comments that when they hear what a something or they read it or it comes up in their life in any way, they're in their head, they'll hear, that's my other name. Yeah, someone was dreaming. Uh, yeah. And said what a nightmare <laughs> like out loud, point. but then they said that's his other that name. Sounds like a Surely you know that all blessings from beyond ensure it they're only with a mind. Hmm? Normally I wouldn't skip, but end of episode, and it was very wordy. We get it. It's the shrine. All right. On the next episode, I don't know what we do. Well, maybe next episode we do the showerhead quest. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Wasn't it like we had to do that like 1 p.m. or something? That's got to be coming up. It was like 1 or 2 p.m., yeah. Yeah, something like that. Um, we could hunt around to make more stuff, but I kind of get the feeling we might not need that yet. I, I, they probably would make the first dangerous area of the game safe enough that you could do it without charms. Probably. Mm. We have a few charms now. We're powered up at least a little bit. Um, I do want to run around a little and just see, like, how much did this actually increase my stamina? And did it increase my stamina maximum or the recharge rate or both? That's another thing worth knowing. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's test out the step. So we have 150 max now. I think it was, I think it was, it was 100 just 100. Before. Yeah. So each point of stamina gives you 25. I think so. Also, I think it's going down slower. It seems to Maybe regenerate at the same the speed. Points. Maybe. It does seem to regenerate at the same speed, though. You have one and a half times more. Uh, or rather, you have 150% of your default stamina. Yes, I have 1.5 times the stamina, 50% more stamina, or 150% of base stamina. Would all yeah. be mathematically correct ways to say that. All right. Crashed into mm. David Jawara statue. <laughs> Take the head off. Found the killer as York the entire time. On the next episode, everybody, we probably fix a shower head. That'll keep him coming back for the next episode. <laughs> Until next time, have a nice day. Plus three to hygiene. <laughs>